Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm preparing to move off-grid to try to become more self-sufficient, just live a more purpose-driven life towards uh, adventures, try to live cheap. I plan on living kind of sailboat style because I've done that, and it works for me. Um, so what I've been working on lately is just getting the system that I already have ready to go and just put them away again just like these videos a way to keep me motivated while i pay off the last bits of debt and find the right plot of land i think i have things narrowed down to like basically two states and about four counties um you only have so many options with the way i want to build and uh live you know with codes and restrictions so but the main thing i've been working on is trying to double the size of my solar system i had on my last sailing trip and my last couple rv trips i had a small travel trailer i'd take out west i had half of this system here that i'm building out now but um i had 275 watt panels on the boat with a 206 amp um, these are 175 watt 206 amp lithium battery it's a sock battery it was it was good uh, that gave me plenty on the boat um, I did buy the other two panels and another charge controller when I bought this stuff because it was on a uh, Black Friday kind of deal so I knew eventually I would expand it either for a bigger sailboat or a plot of land somewhere in the mountains, but putting this other, and the reason I have to add another charge controller is this is 40 amp, and if I remember correctly, it's like, it can handle 520 watts, and I'm going to end up with 700 with the four panels, so I'm just going to do 350 and 350. But when I started putting this on this board, it just got way too crowded. Everything was overlapping and I had the inverter on here as well. And I couldn't figure out a good way that I was happy with anyway. So I ended up tearing it all up. <laughs> and I had to order a few more bits and bobs, but I think this is gonna work for the best because I'm gonna run my positive lines all down here to a bus bar my negative will all go up here on the top to a bus bar there shouldn't be much if any overlapping or anything um and then i'm going to put a battery isolator switch probably in this area here at the end and then i'm just going to move my inverter off on its own board i might reshape that board a little bit but yeah i'm going to do that and uh once I get all this stuff in, I think it's coming, everything's coming in on the 4th. Um, I was, the lugs I bought for this, like these are 3 8 And I mean, they're a little big for this, way too big for this. And I mean, that's just ridiculous. I don't, so what i originally did and i didn't know anything was i just bought this big assortment of lugs and i thought that was a good idea at the time so i have a bunch of this stuff still left after wasting a bunch of it but it's all all but a couple of these which are for real small wire are all three eighths whole and i don't have anything that big um yeah, even these bigger ones that I have in another bag, they're 3 8 too. I didn't know any different, I guess. These are actually, I believe, no, I think they're the, yeah, the, I think these are 5 16 which I can kind of work with. But they're for like a 1 gauge wire, maybe. They might come in handy when I'm stringing a few batteries together. together. But, and the same thing on all the shrink wrap is I probably need in lugs 
like three sizes and in shrink wrap basically the same but I didn't know any better and I got a bunch of this stuff a bunch more here yeah that's more these are sizes I'd probably be using though and I don't know what I was thinking here these are huge I don't know maybe someday I'll find a use for them but this has come in handy for all the small stuff and it's a good assortment of connections and different wire sizes so that was a good choice but this other stuff here I should have waited till I knew more and just order what I needed but so I'm slowed down by Amazon and I'm too cheap to join Amazon Prime. But I, I know I have everything I need. I, I have the wire I need. Um, so it's just come down to the getting the right size lugs. Mainly 5 16 and then I ordered a couple, couple specific ones to fit stuff like this. Which pretty I forget what it was I think it's number 10 or something and, and this one gets a little like this is a 5 16 this one gets a little loose on that but I think I could work with that so I, I'm not sure I even ordered anything specific to that and these fit these are 5 16 so and so are something else oh the inverter and the battery so just about everything and i think the new bus bar or the bus bars i have ordered i'm going to replace this they have a i think it's a 5 16 but i should have it now yeah so i'm kind of stalled out but this is going to work good i had this all connected just with the wrong size lugs i didn't want to turn it on but um it's all going to work I think as long as I have it connected right and I'm not sure of that but yeah bus bar bus bar I don't know what that's for and uh, battery isolator switch here I'll probably run like two and a half foot jumpers off the inverter just so I can connect that and I'll just ha have to put this board off to the side or when I was trying to squeeze the inverter into here, I either had the fans like right up against here or they were right down here, which could end up being a floor. I plan on putting this whole thing into a, like under a counter in a cabinet. Most of this will be hidden. And then this will be the only thing visible on the outside that I made for all my light switches and stuff. But so next week I'll be able to test this stuff. And I plan on putting my uh, 12, I have the 12 volt, I'll plug in my ISCO, probably charge something on USB, maybe put a lamp on the inverter, maybe a tool battery charger on the inverter. But when I was on the boat, I used this inverter for, to charge my laptop and to charge tool batteries, because I was kind of refitting the boat as I went and now they have i was looking i can get a car charger 12 volt for all my tools up here um and i can get a 12 volt charger for my laptop i think those have been around for a while actually uh i don't see much use of this and i have the generator when i'm doing like i have three tools i think that are, i'm gonna need to run the generator to use them so i'll be running that occasionally and then i am going to have some kind of air conditioner probably it depends on where exactly i end up in my elevation but uh don't plan on doing it for more than you know a few hours at a time just to straighten out the day i guess but yeah so i'll, I'll be using it for that and I can throw other things on that while it's running for another reason. I'll try to get out of everything I can. But I think between the two and for off, I plan on being at my property at least half the year because I just, I like to build stuff. So I'll be just thinking up, dreaming up stuff to build, but wood isn't cheap and stuff. So I'll be doing, I'm going to try to do a mix of it. 
I'm gonna get like a micro cruising sailboat this time and go real small try to do some trips doing that and then there's some slot canyons and stuff i'd like to hike and different i'd like to do some small through hikes nothing major three or four days maybe do a week long one a couple times a year or something but all of that but i can't really do anymore here i've been trying to put this figure out a way to do it where I'm not crisscrossing these lines and as soon as I pulled the inverter and said I'll just keep that on another board it was pretty easy to do it's not as crowded so I'll get my stuff in on the fourth and put all this together push the panels out into the driveway and start testing this stuff over a, I want to test it over about a three or four day period so I can be feeling all the wires, just make sure not, nothing's getting hot or anything. I'll put some load on it, put no load on it, and just do a whole series of testing on it all. Because ideally I'll have this done in a few weeks. I need to do an oil change on that, run it out of fresh fuel, put it away. The Ice Co, my little 12 volt fridge, um, I get, it's not very little it's big enough for me um i took it inside this is just the insulated cover i took it inside to test it out for a few days ended up leaving it in there for a week keeping drinks in it but i have it empty now i'm just letting it get completely down to room temperature and then i'm going to clean it out good and put that away and then I guess after I've tested this, I'll just have these videos to try to keep me motivated, figure out something. I've been like four years into this and all of this stuff has been put away that whole time. Um, I had to get some of the solar panels from the boxes here that were up in the attic. Um, but it's been a lot of fun getting all this stuff back out. Just the ant anticipation now and try to keep that going so i didn't realize doing a video or two would help that much but i i enjoy it i just gotta have something to do do with it and right now i'm just kind of making a mess and i am getting some stuff done but it all could have been condensed into one video and i can only spend bits of money on this at a time because if i'm on a financial plan to get gone anyway i'll check back in on the fourth when i get this stuff going again